Welcome back to the Chow Time Pod. It's your host Red. I got a video today from a Chinese woman explaining what she, why she thinks that our men are leaving America to、uh, be passport bros. And then I have another video of、uh, an, a modern woman stitching her videos just to trash on men. In my opinion, it's just hilarious. But please like and subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate that. And let's get to the Chow. It's Chow Time. I've been seeing a lot of these passport bros video going around where American women are getting kind of upset that men are leaving America to find their woman. But they go to places where women speak a little English, no education whatsoever. However, that's not the reason. The reason why men do that is because the women out there are loving, caring, nourishing, feminine, and the food like ah、oh, top notch. So it's like essentially what a man want. Chinese. I'm from Hong Kong. We do shit on men a lot. We are bossy. <laughs> However, we do be praising. It's funny that she admits that she shit them, that they shit on men a lot still too. But at least、uh, we're good women according to her. And then when they're being an excellent man, versus I've seen on lots of women in America, they would be like, as he should. You、uh-huh. see the difference? We definitely、like、know this. Just- Very ungrateful. Men are really easy to please. Just give him his time and space, be his peace of mind instead of a headache when he come home.、Perfect. Respect him, appreciate him, let him lead, trust him, believe in him. I'm very traditional, and maybe some women are not like that, and they don't like that, which is fine. Do whatever that works well for you. And what I've been doing has been working very, very well for me. That's why I'm just, you know. Sharing a little secret, it's so simple, <laughs> but it seems like a lot of women don't understand that. Don't get me wrong, you can be an excellent woman, and once in a while you still run into some assholes, right? So again, go where you respect it. If it's not working out, leave and go where you respect it, and keep doing you. Be a good woman. You will find a man for sure. I've been single. I think her advice is awesome. I think it was pretty spot on, and she even like addressed the no, we're not uneducated. They're not reason. The, the reason why men are not leaving the country is to go find uneducated women or something. It's to find nicer women, women that are going to treat them nicely. That's probably one of the biggest reasons. <laughs> like nothing she said. She didn't trash on anyone. She didn't say anything too. Harshly about modern women or anything, you know. But let's see what modern women have to say. What she had to say. American women are getting kind of upset that men are leaving America to find their woman. American woman here. American women are not upset that the passport bros are going to go overseas to find wives. American women. Are mad at the slanderous disrespect that the passport bros have toward American women. The reason why most of these passport bros are seeking some of you foreign women is because they do not meet the standards of American women. They have been discarded by American women. So most of them seek women abroad because some of you have much lower standards that they can meet. All right, two things on that one. So we don't meet your standards. Why are you mad that we're looking for someone that meets our standards? Then that's one. Two. You just literally shit it on like all these women, by saying that they can't do anything else but accept. Your shitty standards that you didn't accept that discarded away. So you're saying that all these women are good for us to take your trash. That's pretty presumptuous of you. <laughs> And、uh, they're getting the men that you want that don't want you. I think they're winning. In the U.S., the percentage of lonely single men is on. I love it when women bring up the statistics and stuff only when it benefits them. Whenever we men bring up statistics to defend our、um, counterpoints, it completely gets ignored. But when、uh, statistics and numbers go with women, 
they use it up their ass, even though it's interpreted incorrectly half the time. On the rise, dating opportunities <clears throat> for men are diminished as women raise their standards. Men represent about 62% of dating app users, lowering their chances for matches. Younger and middle-aged men are... These are just normal things. Yeah, there's more thirsty men out there. So yeah, there's more men on dating apps. The rise of lonely men. Yes, we agree with that too. But the rise of lonely women is actually much, much higher. And remember, men have always historically been single or alone. Most men. Women have never experienced this boat until more recent years. The more and more single women that are going to be aging... It's going to be astonishing soon. So you shitting on men for them being single and lonely. You do realize the opposite is women are also single and lonely. Just saying. Are the loneliest they've been in generations. And it's probably going to get worse. So why do you want to buy it from Ukraine? That's a great question, young lady. Caesar, why do you want a wife from Ukraine? Uh, because um, I try to get wife in the United States, you know, but nobody, you know, nobody want me. I'm not saying all passport bros know how to freaking have game or anything, but he's honest. All right. What is wrong with going somewhere to find happiness when you can't find it where you're currently at? Like a good example is I'm Asian. If I lived in, say, the Midwest, and I really wanted to marry an Asian, the chances of me finding an Asian is almost slim to none. If I was to move to, say, the West Coast, there's a lot more Asians in that population here in the United States. I would up my chances, right? So going to another country where you can up your chances of getting married, I see nothing wrong with that. But yet women choose to make fun of men to do it like women, you know women constantly go out to get their blacks blown out their backs blown out like in jamaica and all the caribbean countries and stuff men don't say anything so great job caesar when you're trying to seduce women don't forget to tell them that they are your last option let's just be very clear most of these passport bros do not have a choice in this matter Maybe some, but not all. Remember, to be a passport bro, you have to be pretty pretty well off. Like, you just can't move and live into another country without, one, stable income, or two, a massive amount of savings. So, you saying that doesn't make sense. They have been completely discarded by American women, so they have no choice but to seek wives abroad. They were completely discarded by American women, but yet you guys make so many videos of passport bros, of why they're leaving and why they're taking advantage of third world country women and how they're dusty and you know, they're the bottom of the barrel men, but yet. There is more videos of women shitting on passport bros than there are of passport bros showing the passport life. There, like, I get comments down below in a lot of my videos. Literally, when they can search for passport bros, it is just a list of women shitting on passport bros. And then you get an occasional video like ours or, you know, like mine or somebody else's. This is how. S you guys are not like happy about it this is how women are trying to cope with it by just shaming men to not leave with american women being more educated than american men american women starting more businesses yet still have 70 percent of the consumer debt 70 percent of all college debt that probably isn't going to get paid why aren't you talking about that and single American women owning more homes than single American men. A lot of which are probably going to get foreclosed. This is the part where I don't think buying a house is actually good for a lot of single people. If you're single and you bought a house, 
I don't think that's a good purchase for most people, right? Because the mortgages is high. And are you going to be able to afford that house for the rest of your life without another person helping you? Like men usually are able to do it because we sacrifice our lifestyle greatly to achieve certain goals. I don't think very many women are willing to sacrifice their lifestyle to maintain certain things in their lives. And as they get older, it's going to be much harder for them. A lot of us American women do not need to marry for a better life or economic gain. Our standards tend to be a bit higher. A lot of these past. Yep. Because uh, men replace, I mean, because money replaces men. In the world of ethnism, our modern world, money literally replaces men. Why? Because I'd rather be a single mother and raise my child because I'm rich. Because men are useless. Oh, you know, I'd rather do all this by myself because men are useless. Support bros have been discarded because... Many of them are senior citizens who are mentally and emotionally damaged. Really? She literally called most passport bros senior citizens emotionally and mentally damaged. A lot of passport bros are actually in their 30s and 40s. <laughs> there are a lot of passport bros that are in their 60s because they were passport bros in their 40s. And now they're old. So, and a uh, passport bro isn't something new. It's been around for a long time. We just labeled it passport bro more recently. So there's been men that's been doing this for ages. And yeah, they're in their elderly ages now. They're, they're, considered, they're still considered passport bros. They can no longer perform in the bedroom. They are not financially stable. Can no longer perform in the bedroom. Damn. She really hates men. <laughs> and not financially stable. You do know men usually only marry when they're financially stable, right? Unlike women, where they just want to get married because either one, their biological clock is running, or they just want to get married and have kids. Where men very methodically think about marriage and how they can afford everything. Remember, if we're broke here or middle class here, we're somewhat upper middle class in another third world country. So what we can afford here is actually two to three times more in another country. This is where women are like losing me. They think that it's so difficult to live in these countries with very little money. You can literally live in most countries for $2,000 a month and live like a king. For $2,000 a month in the United States, you can't even get a good apartment. So. And they just don't have anything to offer American women. So we are... Yeah, we have nothing to offer American women. It's best that we leave anyways then, huh? Very happy that many of them are able to find wives in foreign women like you. Ooh, I just want to call the condescendingness. We're happy that they're able to, our dusty men are able to find, uh, you know, mates like you. Americans think they're so higher up than everybody else. It's so ridiculous. Like, bitch, you really think you're better class than some Asian foreign women? Some of these foreign women are probably richer than you way more better off than you and you have no clue because you just think they're poor caution some of you foreign women that when a man says that he wants a submissive woman that's usually about control and if always goes to the shame that this whole thing was shame insult and guilt we're all wrapped into this video and then she, like every single section she's gone to is just shaming men constantly and now she's shaming men because we want to control women if you keep in mind, married immigrant women experience higher levels of physical and sexual abuse than unmarried immigrant women. Um, abusers often use their partner's immigration status as a tool of control. Also, you're stupid. For one, passport bros are not bringing their wives back here. 
So that's false. They're 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 too they're not willing to risk their perfect wife to become someone like you in the Western world. So they rather just live in those other countries. So that whole you know holding things over their wives and holding the green card over their wives. I think more women do that. Have you heard of Ninety Day Fiance? Have you heard of that fat lady that smelled like crap and her her husband had to deal with it and didn't want to have sex with her because she smelled like crap and she didn't want him to, to, to like leave her because or he, she kept him because he needed his green card but forced him to do a whole bunch of shit? Yeah, women do it too. Oh, 99% of all domestic violence includes financial abuse. 99% of all domestic violence. Do women not abuse men too? The, her, her statistics is, is so skewed. Like if we actually looked at real statistics, more women abuse one-sidedly against men than men abuse one-sidedly against women. So where did this 99% of all abuse come from financial from? Because most women are not contributing in finance shocker understand that many of these passport bros have been unwanted and discarded for very good reason yet they still make videos to shit more on us for what if they already know that we're shitty and we they already know that we're discarded why mourn our passing or our leaving in a sense in all these like these tremendous amounts of videos about passport bros be careful Making oh i know why How is that chow? oh i know why what they're making these videos is because they can't handle the rejection all these women can't handle the rejection that men are leaving this country because women in this country do not meet men's standards. And the only way women can get men to stay is to shame, insult, and guilt. Why? Because women are not willing to put the work to become the women in these foreign countries. Imagine that. Why not do the things that these these women are doing in these some of these countries, and it might you might be able to keep a man. Just a thought. Please like and subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate that, and I'll catch you guys next time. It's chow time.